Uh, Mr. Turner. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I appreciate you holding this hearing and the other um, hearings that you have also held and, and your attention on the legislative side to us trying to address the sexual assault uh, issue. You've been a leader on this, and I've appreciated your support as uh, my co-chair, Nikki Zongas, ha does, um, who's the co-chair of the Sexual Assault Prevention Caucus. You're, you have been um, uh, a great advocate as we've worked with the Senate on these prov provisions. Um, <clears throat> gentlemen, um, we know why this happens. It, 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 it happens where we, we come to this time where we say, how in the military could there have been such a systematic breakdown of leadership and, and not know? Um, we, we know why, and it is absolutely an issue of culture. Uh, we can try to pass laws, we can try to pass legislation, but until we break that, the culture that allows the environment for this to occur, uh, we're never going to be able to make these, these changes from the seats up here in Congress. It has to come from the seats that you have, from the leadership that, that you have. And I want to thank you because I believe that you have turned to, to this issue. But I want to focus on the issue first of, of culture to really identify how bad this is and why the military and DOD needs to, to, to address this issue first of, of culture. I had two tragedies occur in my district. Maria Lauterbach, who was a Marine who, was, who came forward with the allegation of rape and was subsequently murdered by the accused, and Corey Choka, who, has, um, who had uh, been re-victimized by the system, uh, and my office provided assistance to her, and um, we, we all know her story through the, the, um, uh, the movie The Invisible War. But in the Maria Lauterbach case, I want to read to you a, a letter I got back from the Marines. After Maria Lauterbach had been viciously murdered by her accused, uh, we contacted the Marines and asked them, how could you not know that she was at risk uh, for a violent crime or a violent uh, uh, action or assault? And they actually wrote back this letter to me, <coughs> which I have here from um, oh, Lieutenant General uh, Kramlich, U.S. Marines, Director of Marine Corps Staff. And I asked them this question, doesn't a rape accusation inherently contain an element of force or threat? And this is the written answer that I got back as a sitting member of Congress. Lauterbach, the victim, Lauterbach never alleged any violence or threat of violence in either sexual encounter. So I have first for you, gentlemen, a question that's relatively simple. Have you ever heard of a nonviolent rape? General Rice? No. General Welsh? No, Congressman, I have not. I appreciate that, because that's the answer I've gotten in every hearing that I've started with that question, because that's basically part of the problem of the culture, of understanding that this is a crime, that this is, is violence. Now, I want to tell you another story. I have a question for you there. Uh, we were at the Marine Commandant's house, uh, sitting around his uh, dining room table. Uh, my co-chair, Nikki Songas, was there, and she can corroborate this story. Uh, we were having a discussion on the issue of culture and the need to change the culture in the Department of Defense, and we were all done. We had all identified the issues that needed to be addressed, and the Marine Commandant's wife said, before everyone leaves, you need to hear this, and she turned to a senior female officer who was sitting around the table and, and said to her, could you tell them what you told me earlier? If you were subject to a sexual assault, would you report it? And she said, no. Here's a Marine senior female officer sitting at the Commandant's table, and she said no. I would like to address that issue with both of you because clearly that's the culture. The concern is the fear of coming forward of the, of the fact that they would be subject to re-victimization, that their career would be subject to, uh, uh, to uh, a disadvantage. And as we hear all the stories of the victims, the basic issue that we have is their concern of fear of coming forward. Now, for, I want to ask both of you. You had to see in this, and you have to see in the culture of the military, that part of the problem of what happened here in this case, in these number of cases that you have, is this fear of people who are victims from coming forward. So I want to ask you to, to discuss that, of the fear of the victims and how you change that culture. The second thing is, is and, and General Welsh, you made a comment that, that I, I kind of cringe at, um, because I, I hear this through the military, and it, it's a term that goes, I think, partly to, the, to some of the, the disconnect in the view of this. You said, we have to stop bad behavior. It's not bad behavior, it's a crime. Um, and I think the people around it, the non-victims, they, they don't feel comfortable either because they have this similar fear. And we only have 30 seconds, but gentlemen, if you could begin to comment on that. The bad behavior I was referring to, Congress, is behavior before a crime is committed by people who will eventually commit a crime if we don't stop the at-risk behavior, not I of the victim, the distinction. of the potential perpetrators. Um, the key to solving this problem, 
every time I talk to an Air Force audience, the first question I ask them about this issue is, why on what was undoubtedly the worst day of a victim's life did they not turn to us for help? We stand beside them in combat areas. We go to war with them. We protect each other's lives. We talk about this constantly. We are missing something fundamental in the human-to-human -human interaction that will allow them to feel safe enough to come to us and report and let us put our arms around them and help them through this horrible event in their life. You're right, Congressman, that's at the heart of the problem. Gentlemen, if you make that your priority, we're going to go a long way and be able to address this. Thank you.